All right, guys, today we're going to be taking a quick look at two very similar knives. And by very similar, we're going to be looking at the Cold Steel SRK versus the Demco Free Rain. Now, these knives are very similar and for a number of reasons. One, Demco, for those who don't know, has a long track record of working with cold steel. And that is usually a good thing. Of course, Demco or Andrew Demco was the one who made and patented the triad lock. And of course, nowadays the shark lock. But he has ever since then, um, actually for the most part, remained a pretty small low key maker. But he is now starting to get into production knives and things like the Armager 2 and 4, the Demco Free Rain, um, and plenty of folding knives like the 80-20, 20.5, and Shark Cub. However, I thought it would be interesting to go over the Free Rain versus the SRK because these are made in the same factory in Taiwan, and I thought it'd be interesting to go over them, talk about them, and compare pros and cons. Now, first off, I will say there are some notable differences here. These knives, the um, Free Rains here, come in either an option of OS 10A, which is what this is. They did a limited run of Magna Cut and may bring it back. Honestly, I would really like to see, especially because these are made in the same factory as the SRKs, I would love to see these come out in CPM 3V. I think that would make the free reign like an ultimate win. However, this is a CPM 3V version of the SRK. So for the TLDR, I will say, if I had to simply choose one of these two knives, I would probably choose based off of materials, the SRK, because the SRK is the only two of these knives that comes in CPM 3V, and I am a huge CPM 3V lover. So for me, that would be my end choice um, for the TLDR. Now, going over the actual knives themselves. So first off, you have very, very similar overall length and size. The SRK is more narrow. As you can see, the blade profile is a little bit skinnier, but it is about an inch, inch and a half longer. So you do get a six inch blade as opposed to a five inch blade on the Demco Free Rain. Outside of that, you have pretty much identical lengths and handle. However, once again, you see this uh, commonality with the free rein that it's just a wider knife. And I think personally, I like, and as I've talked about in previous videos, I like the ergonomics and the overall size of the free rein more. I like the width of it especially, and that is for a few reasons. Once again, these are using very similar blade stock, and because of that extra width, of the free rein, as you guys can see. What it means is that it gives the blade more time to narrow down in a flat grind and give you a better slicing edge. So the overall cutting performance is a little bit better with the free rein because it has a wider um, grind and so it's more tapered, more narrowed, and conversely, more sharp at that cutting edge. So I really do enjoy that feature of the free rein. And once again, too, I also like the ergonomics a bit more. They're just a little bit more modernized. Um, the SRK, it's kind of pro and con is that it hasn't really changed in the past 20 years. But like I said, it's also its biggest con is that it hasn't really changed in the past 20 years. So there's a lot of texturing on here and just kind of, I would say the biggest thing I dislike about handle is that it does feel good and grippy but it's not as contoured and it's not as you like sure as the free rein like i really like the heel of this handle how it really hooks back so that if you do decide to chop with this knife you can get hooked into the back of it and really get some good leverage whereas you have a very ambiguous kind of heel to the srk so that's probably the biggest disadvantage of the srk's handle however once again both of these are made out of the same rubber very grippy. They are cut and textured differently, but they are very similar in a number of ways. So <laughs> on to the next one. Now, the biggest thing I will say that I dislike about the free rein outside of probably its blade size is the fact of these weird jimpings back here. And in my opinion, I'm really kind of confused as some other commenters had made notice. Um, these jimpings back here or whatever you want to call them are very weird to me because they aren't really stacked enough to give you any additional traction. However, because they are cut there, it has extra contact points and it does two things that I dislike. One, of course, over the course of time, this will be 
become uncomfortable, especially to a bare hand. And then two, because of these kind of cutouts here, it really eliminates the effectiveness when you're trying to drag a ferrocerium rod across, you know, an area to strike it and, you know, produce sparks. You cannot use the back area that is closest to the handle. And this really takes away from being able to effectively strike ferro rods because the closer you are to that fulcrum, the more leverage and essentially power that you can really put out and strike with a ferro rod. And I'm pushing, but you also would probably want to pull however you want to do it, you know, however you'd strike your ferro rod. Either way, being right against the back of the handle gives you a lot of control, a lot of force, and essentially makes striking a ferro rod much better. This is something that the SRK gets right because the SRK is, of course, you know, jumping on the back, it's a flat spine, and so you can get right back here, strike your ferro rods just fine. So that is something that I really do dislike about the Demco Free Rain. And once again, it kind of confuses me because the jimpings on this knife seem to have all the disadvantages of jimping without any of the actual advantages of jimping. So you're not really getting any gained traction like you would expect to see out of a knife that has jimping. So aside from that, um, there's not really too much uh, to say. Of course, there are differences in tip shape. You have a classical clip pointed blade on your SRK, whereas you have a classical drop point or spear point on your free rein. Once again, I've said this in the past, I do prefer the free rein's blade shape more. I like this kind of, uh, you know, kind of more tapered spear point or drop point as opposed to the clip point. I think it's more useful in survival because a clip point is more along the lines of like a buoy slash fighting knife. So this would be better suited to a kind of combat survival survival knife as opposed to a wilderness survival knife, which is unfortunate because this is called an SRK or search and rescue knife. So it is really, you know, kind of marketed and sold as a more of a wilderness survival knife as opposed to a combat survival knife. Anyways, that has been a look, a reasonably brief look at the Demco Free Rain versus the Cold Steel SRK. I thought it'd be worth talking about both of them because once again, they're both made in the same factory. They have a lot of similar characteristics. Luckily, and this is a good thing, they have a lot of the same build quality to them. So, you know, these knives are very well made. The Cold Steel SRK, you know, can you break these knives? Yes, if you try hard enough, you can break any knife, but they are reasonably durable and more than durable enough for anything I've ever ran my SRK or free reign through. I haven't had either of them break on me. I haven't had either of them, you know, show any signs of issue. And I've been pretty tough, especially on my SRK. K5 high carbon um, SRK, they perform flawlessly. And so, yeah, I really don't have anything negative to say about either knife. They're both great. They just have, um, you know, their own slight quirks and differences, of course, being made by two different companies or designed by two different companies. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless, and I'm out.